Uh, okay, all right. Well, with that, look at all my buddies. Everyone is so happy. Everyone is so happy. We're gonna continue. Um, so, if you uh, watch the last stream, you'll know that uh, so we're at the end. But now it's just gonna be an opportunity to walk around, hang out with people, see what they're up to. Uh, and kind of get some closure before we see the uh, the closing credits. You have your phone number. I. What if I call your phone number? <laughs> I. I wish you could tell. What is a smiley? Close. Lots of love. LOL. Rocketeer was amazing. So, when will we get another Till Death podcast? My drive's been lonely without your horror love. Uh, we're actually going to watch Southbound tonight um, and then record a podcast, uh, if not tonight, then tomorrow. So, you know, our moving process uh, meant that we didn't get a chance to uh, watch as many horror films. We wanted to do one for 10 Cloverfield Lane, and maybe we'll briefly talk about it, but it is coming back. It's not dead. It's just been uh, uh, on hiatus while we got our life uh, in order. <laughs> Don't talk about anime. Life is the greatest fan fiction of all. Is a, put the put that on a bumper sticker. Maybe I'll put that on a bumper sticker. That is that is exactly. Life is the greatest fan fiction of all. <laughs> That's such a good line. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm not really that into tea, but I'm not against it. Oh man, listen to that jam of a music. That is funky. That's down there. DCC 0209, will you be starting Stardew Valley soon? Uh, there's actually, the first installment is already up on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Patrick Um And there will be uh, more. We're going to be playing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, you know, a lot of people have said it's, it's kind of tough to fit a lot into an hour, and that's fine. Um, you know, again, you know, my whole uh, goal with... Uh, those streams uh, is is mostly to just, just it's just an opportunity to, to play more of a different game. Um, so you know, Stardew Valley is just an opportunity to uh, Asinines. Patrick, we're gonna go back there. Uh, check the room you just passed up. Okay.
Uh, yeah, and as uh, Hasun points out, like th there are no spoilers at this point. Like if I'm gonna miss cool things that you think I should check out, um, you know, just tell me to check them out. Oh yeah, people say you keep calling Toriel. Not yet. <laughs> I'll try not to, Torio. Up. Oh, oh, what happened here? Now well, there's still water. I really don't like the design of that cat. I just really, it's unsettling. I don't know why it's only wearing shoes on one half. <laughs> As a slime, I'm overjoyed. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, what's happened here? Hey, buddy! You seem like you're still... Janitor and janitor and keep going right. Oh, buddy. He does not seem like things are going well for him. He's creating his own perpetual cycle. Oh, wait, what? How to draw come to the art lessons on the second floor located in a similar place. What? What does that even mean? What do you mean in the second floor? Can I go up? There's stairs? Don't say that. Don't say that. What's up, buddy? You're one of the creepier characters in this game. <laughs> That's really good. It's a great line. So is there no is there no, no way up? Is that just Is there anything more than just going to the right? There certainly doesn't seem like there's a way up, right? There are no stairs as far as I can tell. saying it's a secret for a boss you missed. You cannot get to the legendary second floor. Ah. Interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of secret stuff that I didn't find. Let's talk to our friends over here. Anything different?
I think these two are probably my favorite characters in the game. Like cats. Dogs are just firm cats. Alright. Got these knights. Were there, were, didn't one of these knights profess their love to the other? here. Hey, what's up with this dude? I remembered your name. Aww. Dogs are just firm cats. Life is the ultimate fan fiction. Um, oh, I probably need to go to the, the elevator. Even though I don't remember how any of this works. Uh... Sure. Here we go. See anything over here? Probably not, huh? This is all. This is all old. Okay. Up. Oh. Who are you? I don't need to go this way, huh? No. I need to go back to the towns. I guess I could also go back to, uh... What's up? I do care for a ride. I want to ride in the boat. I guess we'll go to Waterfall first. Ride Hovercat. Um, I'm not going to be able to talk to everyone, and I'm not going to talk to everyone. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of other people there that, if it is true as everyone is saying, that there is new lines of dialogue for uh, every single character. Um, I mean, that's wonderful, and that's super cool, but I, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do every single line of that. This is new dialogue. They looked old. We'll talk to a bunch of our favorites, and then we'll go back to the very beginning of the game, um, and then and then we'll roll the credits. And that's just to be how it be. What 
these snails. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a that's a dark way to look at it, Mr. Snail. Looking outfit, robot. <gasps> Master Bluke. Very excited for him. He do it. Definitely top five character. Definitely top five character. Good to know. <laughs> Ooh, can't go in the house. Is it still on fire? Sure, of course. Still funny. Still funny. Mm -hmm. Nope, not this one. All right, off to the other town. Going to Snowden. Moose McMahon says the key that Caddy and Braddy were selling for way too much opens Mataton's house. Interesting. I'll have to look up uh, like a wiki or whatever to see what stuff I, I'm not going to experience on my own. There's tons of stuff. What, I wonder what happens with the with the snowman. I didn't do anything with his stuff. these guys.
<laughs> a little too real. The headline's a little too real. Gotta be a way to open that up, right? That's probably another hidden secret in the depths of Undertale. Look at all these people. Human food's pretty good. I'm color me a fan. bear <laughs> that's politics I guess it's time to make our way back to uh, beginning of the game. Believe it unless I lived it myself. You can get out of the way. I'm heading back. Guess I'm gonna have to do a little bit of traveling. Ooh. Uh, uh. I should only should take a only should take a minute or two. Actually, not that far. And we'll probably run into some people on the way. the dogs. Look, uh, Norman, I understand. The outside world, it's a big place. Beep. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. 
forgot about all these creatures. I guess it's a little bit further than uh further than I thought. We're moving. We're hustling. Oh, hello. hat. I would wear that hat. Moving along. Singing a song. Snowman is up here, right? Sorry, Snowman. Yeah, sure. I don't, I'm not sure what you want me to do with your your pieces, Mr. Snowman. But that's okay. All right. Oriel's phone. Not gonna do it. Sorry. What? Okay. We'll have to walk all the way back to get to the <laughs> so we can finally trigger the credits. <laughs> it's, uh, hopefully this scene is worth it. But a lot of folks said to make sure you did this, so. Uh, this will be the last thing we do, and then we'll mosey on to the credits. By mosey, I mean spend five minutes reversing the, uh, the landscape <laughs> so we can make it there again. Right says you can close and reopen the game to get back if you don't save. Okay. I guess that makes sense too. my save. <laughs> Just because it's going to be a long way to... Uh, 
enough to, to walk back, and especially if I can just reload and do it all. Oh. I'm not sure how, quite how you sneak your way through that little chute. That seems mildly preposterous. Asinines. You kind of sort of get what the story is at this point. I do. I need to reread like a wiki or something to connect all the dots on, on everything just because the disjointed way in which I played the game. It makes it a little difficult to keep tabs on all the little details that are connecting at the end, but I get the picture, generally speaking. Plus, there are, like, so many small connections and conversations that maybe I overlooked or was looking at the chat. Like, it's just, you know, tough to, to take in everything about the game, given that it's so inter uh, intricately connected and, and thoughtfully considered. Um, so, I, you know, I think it's going to be a joy to actually go back and read that stuff. Um,
No, not really. Alright, I guess that's it, huh? Zidios, so you're not gonna do the third ending. It'd be a shame if you didn't see the third ending. It's a completely different game as the true highlight of Undertale. Any qualms you may have typically with playing through a game again do not exist with uh, Undertale. Um, it's not so much about um, um, having a problem playing through a game a second time or a third time. Um, it's just a uh, it's a, it's a matter of, um, I, like, literally just not having the time to do it. Uh, but, you know, what, let's, rather than reloading a save, I'll just use this as an opportunity to kind of talk through uh, my overall feelings on Undertale. If people have any questions they'd like to drop in or comments they'd like to make about uh, having played through this, or, you know, or what your experience has been with Undertale, uh, feel free to drop that in, and we'll just kind of use this as a as a means to kind of bring some closure to having played through uh, this over the last... Uh, two or three months, uh, which has been a, a true pleasure. It's been a ton of fun uh, for the people that have come along for the ride, um, whether it was your first time seeing Undertale or your second time seeing, seeing Undertale or your third time, you know, whatever the case was, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been uh, great fun uh, to play it uh, uh, with everyone um, and uh, looking forward to doing it with a bunch of other games. But I think what's, what's really fascinating about Undertale is... There are games that are made that are aware of their conventions, um, that are, uh, you know, Undertale doesn't exist without, you know, everything else in the genre having existed before it. Um, it's, oh no, am I going to remember this? Oh, I got so close by guessing it. I didn't even really pay attention that much this time either. Uh, oh, oh, nice job, Patrick. High quality video game. Ugh. Ugh. Keep thinking I can just fumble my way through it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, JV, what's so great about this game? I think it's difficult to articulate. And I think it, part of what's troublesome about playing Undertale now, relative to having played Undertale when it came out, is that there's just an enormous amount of hype behind it. There's an enormous amount of, oh my god, it's one of the best games I've ever played. And, you know, I think, specifically, uh, what happens when you have... Undertale's a game that has inspired an incredibly passionate community. Uh, and when you have games that have incredibly passionate communities, uh, those communities can be off-putting to outsiders that want to see what all of the hype is about. You know, I think that's not exclusive to Undertale. That's something that happens... Uh, with all sorts of games and movies and television shows and uh, communities uh, can have the best intentions in that they they want to be representative of the thing they love that has had an impact on their life um, and the way they express that is not always necessarily uh, in the the way that encourages other people to want to check out that thing um, and I think that's the case with Undertale and that's the case with any number of uh, communities. I mean, I'm, it's not even worth really naming ones in particular because this has existed before Undertale, will exist after Undertale, um, and is not Undertale's fault necessarily. You know, Undertale exists in and of itself. Uh, you know, Toby Fox, the designer, I sincerely doubt uh, that he actually. Uh, well, I'm going to make this game, and it's going to be, it's going to inspire thousands of people to uh, defend and attack other people that might. Uh, say that this game is not perfect or it has problems uh you know i think toby fox has you know been quiet for a reason um but i think what ends up happening is when you have something that you think is yours uh and it becomes in some ways part of your identity i think i think we can all un understand becoming having been part of communities like that when we're younger and then that's just something that changes usually 
uh, as we get older, as we develop and mature as humans and uh, our identities become more complex and we don't necessarily use media as the uh, sort of core of our being. But I think that's something we definitely do when we're younger. And I think that helps explain uh, a lot of the community around Undertale, at least the, the negativity that surrounds the external discussion about Undertale's community, um, which, you know, you can look at it. You know, I, I've seen this from uh, friends who, like, if you express, like, oh, I didn't like Undertale, like, people are savage and descend upon you like vultures or even suggesting that this thing they love isn't universally uh, loved. But, you know, I think that's that's something that we do when we're younger um, because it seems like a personal attack, you know? I mean, I, you know, I was a huge Weezer nerd when I was younger and, like, deeply identified with that community uh, to probably not the healthiest degree. But when you're young and you have so much free time and you get... You know, you're growing up and you're confused about who you are and what you're trying to become. Uh, you can get wrapped up in these communities in ways that uh, well, uh, are not the, the healthiest thing in the world, but uh, sort of is what it is. Um, and so I think what's tough for Undertale right now um, is I think there are a lot of people who would really enjoy this game, but there are two things <laughs> working against it. Uh, one is that because it's been hyped to hell, uh, lots of folks are going to go, I don't really get what's so special about it. And I don't think what you understand... Um, I think it's possible to play Undertale, and because of the amount of discussion around it, you can never quite get what's interesting about it. You might get an inkling of it, but the hyperbole, the um, incredible amount of discussion around the game... Uh, and the like OMG reaction, I think it makes it very difficult. That's why I'm bummed that I didn't play it more when um, it first came out uh, because uh, it's it's to your benefit to experience things more in a vacuum um, rather than once it, the, the, there's been a narrative established for what you're supposed to think of it. Yep, that sounds about right. Yep, let's ride the boat. Where are we going? Going to Hotland. Uh, the issue is if uh, the uh, DT113 says, the issue is if you're more the type of person who doesn't get why it's special, that's fine. We're bringing it up. We're trying to demand other people explain why it is is weird and confrontational. Uh, Drikas92 says, It's easy to feel personally assaulted when someone expresses dislike for something you like a lot, especially if you like it a lot, and the person saying they doesn't like it doesn't say so eloquently or gently. Uh, yeah, I think there is a counter to exactly what we're talking about, which is that the people who don't... Not the people, that's... Um, paints with uh, far too broad uh, of, a, of a brush, but that they're... Uh, oh, Lord. I have no idea. Um... I think there's a, a countervailing uh, feeling from people who look at Undertale and go, oh, I don't see what's special. They don't just say, I don't see what's special. They like say they say it with such negativity uh, to push back on, you know, the, the, trying to push back in equal measure, uh, which is not necessarily fair to uh, either uh, side. All right, well, we're almost all the way back. This room. Uh, Jonix, man, on the vacuum topic, one of the things that actually stopped me from playing it was the metagame of Undertale was solved extremely early, and pretty much every discussion I saw was like glancing ahead in a Prima guide. Uh, I will say one of the things that was interesting uh, that I got some pushback about when uh, I said I was going to play the game, and I said that I already knew that I should try and not kill people and go for the passive playthrough. Um, a lot of folks said, well, you're you know, you've already kind of cheated and missed part of the point of the game. You know, you should have shouldn't have looked up anything like that, and you you should have just played it pure and discovered after playing the game and killing people that oh maybe you c you could try and not kill uh, anyone. Um, and you know, I think that's uh, uh, an option. Uh, that is something you could do. 
Uh, but that's that's not an option for, you know, everyone. Um, and, and for me, it was a, it was a matter of I wanted to make sure that I played the game um, and that I, I experienced it, quote-unquote, the way it was supposed to be experienced. And a way of doing that was by just already being aware that I did, shouldn't kill people. Um, uh, so, and that, that's, that gets into another uh, thing that is not unique to Undertale. I experienced this when uh, I started playing Dark Souls, uh, which was like this incredible pushback from fans that was like, this is the way to play. If you don't play it this way, you're not playing the game correctly. Um, I discovered this most acutely when I was playing through Demon Souls last year, uh, and I decided to play a magic user. Now, I decided to play a magic user uh, for two reasons. Uh, one was because uh, I had never really touched magic in a Souls game before. Uh, and secondly, uh, was because I kind of heard it made the game uh, easier. Uh, and I wasn't doing, you know, I'd beaten Dark Souls, I'd beaten Dark Souls 2, I'd beaten Bloodborne. Like, I didn't have to prove anything to anyone uh, about being competent in those games. Not that I have to prove that in the first place. Uh, that said, uh, lots of people are saying, well, you're not getting the true Souls experience. Like, well, I know I'm not getting the true soul experience. I'm just here to enjoy Demon Souls. Um, but that that community, um, or elements of that community, I think it's always you know key to distinguish. Uh, felt like, no, this is the way you're supposed to play, and you're cheating yourself out of the purity. Anyway, here we go. Here's the end. Let's call Toriel one more time. Very emotional moment, Norman. Hey, hey dogs. What should I do? Norman. 
What did I do? Oh. Hey, should I stay or should I go? Oh, wow. I was gonna stay. Katie says we're going. It's out of my hands. It's out of my hands. Wow. Well. Way to make me pick the sad ending. Wow. Counter counter to everything that I was doing in the game. What? No, I'm okay. That was a poor choice. Ruined the whole game. <laughs> That's good. Semi successful comedian thinking about a tap. I seeing dog, that makes sense. Buddy. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. That's really great. Still flexing. Do you like life on the beach? Temmy is Temmy. Legendary janitor. Oh, I'm very proud of you, Washua. <laughs> Calm down just a bit. Glad I met a ton. Still, f oh, there it is. Napster Bluke. That airplane might be finally confessed this <laughs> Airplane might have been the strangest uh, fight in the whole game. <laughs> Domineering glasses seller, sure. Taking a well deserved nap. I mean, it's fair. It's hot in there. <laughs> Living with their families. That's great. I'm very happy for them. Oh man, that's super good. Cores ask or wear uh, terrible flower t-shirts.
What? Get him. Get him. Free him. Hey, yeah. This is pretty good. It's a lot of special thanks. These, are, these people must be very special. to avoid them. No way. Taking them head, head on. Oh, Kickstarter backers. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, people said you have to avoid all this to open that one door in Snowden, uh, which I'm not going to do. So instead, I will focus on making a colorful kaleidoscope. I forgot that I'd say it was a Kickstarter game. Whee! It's a lot of people. Okay, well I'm doing a very poor job in hitting these people. Touched credits. That's good. I like it. I wish I took one last photo with him. Who knows what happened to old Frisk? I know that's Frisk in the middle. I just mean what happened after everything happened. Guess he can't get past this, huh? Oh! What's Temmie doing? Temmie! Temmie! Okay. Quit. Then go ahead and load the game.
It's a really interesting concept to try, and that's a very meta message. Continue true reset. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it as it is. Um, but this uh, has been Undertale. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, if you missed the first half of the stream, sounds like the Twitch notification didn't go out for everyone. It's not super reliable, unfortunately. Um, this will be split into two videos. One will be a Q&A. One will be the epilogue for Undertale. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. We'll be back uh, tomorrow morning with Mario Maker Mornings. Um, I'm not going to do a genocide run, but I, I will look into it to kind of see uh, what, what all that was about. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, the True Reset is me quitting out of this uh, stream uh, right now. Uh, and I uh, hope everyone else uh, enjoys the rest of your Sunday. All right. See ya. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. There's tons of other stuff around here. You might have watched me die tomorrow. You might have watched me scream at horror games. You might have watched me react to trailers with my wife. You might have watched me share some of the coolest video games out there you never heard of. There's lots going on on the site. And YouTube, so that means what? You have, to, you have to like, you have to comment, you have to subscribe. All those things help the channel. All those things help me. And I really appreciate it if you become part of the community over here. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another one.